Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about avoiding congestion on your ME network when automatically setting levels for crafted components. A problem that some people run into is that when they're, whenever they're automatically level setting a crafted component, whenever they want to use that component, the recipe begin, for that component begins uh, running again. So in today's example, we're going to be looking at hardened glass and liquidux. So we've got a setup that I used in a previous video to make our hardened glass. Uh, we're just using an export bus set to always craft and a level emitter. Uh, that is set to emit a signal whenever we're below a certain value and we've just got that in our ME interface here. So what could happen is whenever we're trying to craft liquid ducts out of our hardened glass our, we'll fall below our threshold and our system will begin trying to craft hardened glass again. And we can see that on our ME crafting monitor there. So let's take our hardened glass out and we can see that now we are trying to craft hardened glass. So if we'd use that hardened glass in our liquid duct recipe then we might see our hardened glass recipe here kick off in our crafting interface. To counteract this, you can separate all of your automated crafting off onto a separate subnetwork. To do this, you just need an ME controller that's powered, and then a storage bus on your secondary network, and an ME interface on your primary network. And you can see that even though we have hardened glass crafting over here, when we're on our primary network, we don't see it. And well, let's go ahead and cancel that out and start fresh. Uh, we don't see it. But what we do have is the ability to share items between our two networks in this way. So when we look at our ME terminal, we can see that we have a bunch of items in here, yet there's no storage on the second network. All the storage is over here on our primary network, and we're just seeing the items that are available in this network through this ME interface storage bus interaction. So now when we come over to our primary network, even though we're still crafting hardened glass, we can request Liquidux to be crafted, and it doesn't interfere with the hardened glass recipe at all. Alright, there we go. And so even though we're still crafting hardened glass on our secondary network, uh, that is not clogging up our crafting on our primary network here where we're doing our on-demand crafting. Uh, so this really helps alleviate some of the congestion that you might otherwise experience on your ME network. So one other thing that I do want to point out is that as the hardened glass is coming back into this network, it is not registering with your crafting monitor. So using automatic level setting is a bit of a double-edged sword. The problem that you, you may experience is if we were to run out of the amount of hardened glass that we needed to craft our liquid ducts, um, they would not resume when more hardened glass came into the system. So let's just request quite a few of them. We're going to run completely out of hardened glass here, and you'll see that even as more hardened glass is automatically placed back into our network, our crafting of the liquid ducts does not resume. So keep in mind that automatically level setting is good to avoid wait times. So um, we had our initial amount of hardened glass in our system that we didn't have to wait for when we requested an on-demand item. But now that we've run completely out of hardened glass, we are having a problem on our primary system. In order to alleviate this, you can of course remove the hardened glass and replace it back in. Uh, this will cause the crafting monitor to detect that it is available um, and then resume crafting uh, whatever items it's creating. Uh, so whenever you are considering automatically level setting component, consider the most of that component that you would ever use in a single uh, craft and make sure you keep at least that amount in your network. Um, if you do not want to keep the amount of component that you will need or if you have a constant need for an item, you may want to consider moving to an on-demand method or even using both methods. If we were to set up a, a similar uh, setup to this attached to our primary network, although without using the level emitter and export bus, uh, we could also on-demand craft. Um, as of right now, our primary network doesn't even have a recipe for hardened glass, so if it runs out of hardened glass, it would trigger whatever recipe we did attach to this primary network, um, and it wouldn't cause a conflict. So uh, I hope this is helpful to you in understanding uh, some of the limitations as well as the advantages of automatically crafting uh, certain components and, and setting levels on them on your ME network and a way that you can avoid some of the some of the problems that it causes for you. So please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Feel free to leave them down below. Um, otherwise, uh, have a great day. Thank you.